Good morning, guys. It's your coach Dave here. It's Friday morning. It's uh, almost 6.30 in the morning. Kristen and I finished an absolutely, absolutely great um, quarter force workout. And I want to talk to you guys today. Today is Friday. And today is something we call Flex Friday. But really, it's about looking back at your week and saying, did I in fact get the work done? Did I in fact do the workouts I want to do? Did I in fact show up each and every day and be consistent each and every day? And the thing with this is guys is most often everybody, and I spoke about it last night, we wake up, our intentions are good. We start on Sunday and we want to go out and in fact kill the workouts. We want to show up each and every day. We want our nutrition to be great. We know what to do each and every day, but we don't execute on our ideas to make ourselves better today than we were yesterday. Guys, you deserve to be the best version of you. You deserve to be the best version of you for your family. You deserve to be the best version of you for the people around you that are closest to you. You, be, you deserve to be the best version of you for the people that you work with. You deserve a life of excellence and each and every day you have to stop waking up each and every day as if you're going through, like I say, the flow of life. It is so much more worth it to you than for you just to settle for mediocrity. But it comes down to, at the end of the day, execution. And guys, motivation is not going to hit you like a bolt of lightning. Motivation is not going to come out of anywhere. Motivation just doesn't happen. Motivation occurs when you make a decision to draw a line in the sand and you start showing up every single day. And when you start showing up every single day, then in fact, you will start feeling motivated to continue each and every day. But you have to get over your excuses. You have to stop telling yourself, if only if, if only this, if only that, if only life was perfect, if only I didn't have all these activities with my kids, if only I didn't, if I didn't work so far, if only if my commute wasn't far, if only if I had more hours in a day. Guys, they are excuses. And stop making your kids your excuse and make them your reason. Like Jesus, Louise, so often people say, I don't have time. I don't have time to take care of my health. I don't have time to take care of my body. My kids are in a thousand different things. Really? Well, let me ask you, when your kids get older and they get married and they start having families, I'm sure they're going to want you around a lot longer than you suffering from ailments because you refuse to take care of yourself today because you have a thousand excuses of why you can't work out. Do something. Leave your mark in life. Start showing up every day. Jump, put your two feet on the floor and create your masterpiece every single day. Get your workouts in every single day. What works for me, I'll tell you right now, because I am busy like you and I have three kids and I work full time, I've been able to stay in the best shape of my life with the results that I have by working out at home and doing my beach body workouts. And if you are somebody that says, oh, I need to go to the gym, oh, I need to be around people, you need to check your ego with your results. If it's working for you, kudos to you, congratulations, like that's awesome because I want everybody to be the best version of themselves. But if you are doing something over and over and over again and you're not getting results and the only reason you're going is because I need to go in a, and, and socialize, I need to be in a group setting, guys, your ego is in the way of re your results and you're not getting to where you want to go. And the follow up with that is your nutrition. Guys, you can't out exercise your diet. You can't get abs by working out three hours a day and eating garbage the rest of the day. You are what you eat. So stop putting garbage down your mouth. If you're on the go and you're running from activity to activity with your kids, prepare your food in advance. Make your food in advance. Make a little cooler. Have your Shakeology. Make sure you're fueling your body with your stuff. But guys, at the end of the day, I want you to have the best version of you. And I think so often that so many people get stuck in the routine of life and it kills me because the way I feel right now after working out, I feel my stress is down. I have more energy. Was it easy getting up this morning? No, but is it worth it? Yes. No one ever said after a workout it wasn't worth it. It's for up here that's going to help you. It's up here that's going to change the way you operate as a parent. It's up here that's going to change the way you operate in life. You will be more successful in life in everything that you do if you are willing to take care of this, your temple, your body, your health. Stop playing with it. You deserve the best version of you. I believe in you. I know you can do it. 
And, and, and don't worry about if you feel I'm so far gone. So many people, David, I need your help, but I have to lose 150 pounds. David, I need your help. I got to lose 200 pounds. Whatever it is, David, I need your help to lose 50 pounds. You know what you need to do? Just start. One foot in front of the other. Take the first step. Make the decision. Get accountability. Get a support. Get a coach. Somebody like myself. Get somebody that's going to give you the motivation and support so that you can be successful. And then go after it. We live in a world today of obesity and it's an epidemic that it, we are killing ourselves. I don't want this to happen for my kids and my great grandkids and I know the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack and people are going to follow what you do, not what you say. And everybody is always talking. We all have great ideas but that's what we say with our mouth. That's what we say with our mouth. We aren't who we say we are. Oh, I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna start going to the gym. That's great, but that's what you say with your mouth. You need to execute. Are you, are you the person you say who you are? Are you doing the things to be the best version of yourself for the people around you? I want you to be the best version of you. So on this Friday, look back. Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Did you do what you wanted to do? Did you get it done? If not, don't worry about it. Brush yourself off. Get back on the saddle, get your exercise in today, show up tomorrow, do it again tomorrow, and then start again on Sunday and make it to be the best version of you. The best version of you. And guys, I'm gonna finish with this. It's gonna require sacrifices. It's not going to be easy. It's gonna require sacrifices. But nothing worth getting does not come with a price. Everything worth having is uphill. Everything worth achieving is gonna require work. But I'm telling you, without our health, we have nothing. And life doesn't always fire a warning shot. If you get sick and you are suffering, nothing else matters. Not your house, not your job, not your finances, nothing. So make the sacrifices, take care of your health, take care of your body, and everybody around you will get better. You are the leader, and the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. Guys, have a happy Friday. I gotta go upstairs now and have, um, look forward to having an amazing day. Get my kids up. Kristen and I just finished, she's upstairs, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.